I love using shortcuts. They're a great way to not only save you time, but they also reduce the number of mouse clicks you have to do when building a design. And in the end, makes digitizing a lot more fun. Let's explore some of the common shortcuts you can use in Hatch Embroidery. Let's first of all take a look at the zoom shortcuts you can use in Hatch. To show your design at one scale or at the size that it should sew on your machine, press 1 on your keyboard. To fit the design as large as it can go on your screen, press 0 on your keyboard. To zoom into a particular area of your design, press B on your keyboard. This will activate the zoom tool. Then draw a box around the area that you want to zoom into. At any point in time, you can return to a previous zoom factor by simply pressing V on your keyboard. Sometimes you might be zoomed in close to a certain part of your design and you want to move over and explore more of your design. Sometimes using these scroll bars down the bottom of your screen are just a little too difficult to use. This is where the pan tool is really useful. Simply press P on your keyboard to activate the pan tool. This will change your mouse cursor to a hand just like you see here. Then simply drag your design on screen and you can explore your design while zoomed in. You can also easily zoom in and out using keyboard shortcuts. To zoom in, press the Z key to zoom in 100%. Or Shift Z to zoom out 100%. Likewise, use the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in by 25%, or the minus key to zoom out by 25%. Finally, sometimes you might have an object selected on screen and you want to take a closer look. To zoom in on the selected object, hold down the shift key and press zero on your keyboard. Now let's explore some of the display shortcuts. To turn on and off your artwork, simply press D. To turn on and off True View, press T. To turn on and off your stitches, press S. And to turn on and off your outlines, press L. Finally, you can turn on and off your stitch penetration points by pressing the full stop key on your keyboard. Now let's explore the traveling tools in Hatch Embroidery. If you look in the bottom right corner of your screen, you can see the current stitch count of your design. In my design, I have 8,045 stitches. To travel to the beginning of my design, I press the home key on my keyboard. Now you can see I'm at stitch one or the start of the design. To travel to the end of the design, I press the end key on my keyboard. Let's go back to beginning by pressing home again. I can now travel through my design, first by using the right arrow button to travel forward by one stitch. I can then use the left arrow key to travel back by one stitch. I can travel forward by 10 stitches by using the down arrow button, or backward by 10 stitches using the up arrow button. I can now travel forward by 100 stitches by using the plus keyboard on your keypad 
Now remember, this is not the plus keyboard on your main keyboard, but on the keypad part of your keyboard. And I can travel back by 100 stitches by using the minus key on my keypad. Next, I can travel forward by color change by using page down on my keyboard. And travel back by color change by using page up on my keyboard. Next, we'll explore your selecting shortcuts. To activate the select tool, press O on your keyboard then select your object. To select multiple objects, hold down the control key and select your objects. To select two separate objects and all objects sewn between those objects in sequence, select the first object, hold down shift and select the last object and it will select all the objects that sew between those two objects. You can also select a group of objects using Polygon Select. Press Ctrl L on your keyboard and digitize a boundary around the objects that you want to select. Then press Enter. Finally, to deselect any objects, simply press escape on your keyboard. Let's look at some of the digitizing and reshaping shortcuts in Hatch Embroidery. Sometimes when you're creating a design, you need to digitize an object like a digitized block and then travel to another part of the design to digitize another object. And when you travel, you typically do that with a run stitch. So you'd open up digitize, you'd select your digitized blocks tool you digitize your block shape. Then you swap over to digitize open shape, digitize your run stitch, and then click back and digitize blocks, change the fill, and then digitize your next shape. There's a neat shortcut that can save you time and the number of clicks you need to do to do that exact same process. Let's start again by choosing Digitize Blocks, Fill, and Digitize our first shape. Then we select Spacebar on the keyboard. This toggles to a run stitch. Now I can digitize my run stitch, press Enter, and then press Spacebar again to toggle back to my Digitize Blocks object. To reshape an object, you can select that object, and simply press H on your keyboard. Once you're in reshape mode, you can toggle the nodes from a curved node to a straight node by pressing the space bar on your keyboard. Finally, my most important tip is simply Control S. Control S will save your design while you're digitizing. Every couple of minutes, simply press Control S to save your design because you never know what might happen. A blackout or your computer might simply crash. And these are shortcut keys in Hatch Embroidery. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. 